you want to start? No, go ahead. Okay, so Bloomberg was in Tulsa, Oklahoma the day before Martin Luther, he was honoring Martin Luther King, and he said he has a plan that would help one million black Americans become homeowners over 10 years while also boosting the number of black owned businesses. He pledged a $70 billion program to fight poverty in 100 disadvantaged neighborhoods. We wanted to uh, get your take on that. You know what? That's great. I mean, this country needs it. You know, we do have a former slave population that's still hurting. Uh, but let's, let's not overlook the fact that African Americans in this country have, have been doing, you know, pretty well and get, getting a lot better. And, and that's, that's through the Trump policies. I mean, Bloomberg is coming a little bit late in the game at this. He had a chance mm -hmm. to do that in New York City, uh, but he, he didn't do that. I mean, if, if, you look, if you look at what happened uh, in New York, you see gentrification that ran through the city during his tenure there. Uh, but President Trump is actually the one that passed opportunity zones to bring billions, billions into black communities uh, across the America. You know, President Trump has already put in, you know, uh, also the amazing tax plan that's helped, you know, stimulate the economy, get more blacks hired. You know, the immigration policies that he's putting in place uh, is also ha helping mm -hmm. the black worker, uh, particularly the lower middle class black worker. So, you know, things are working good in the Trump economy, and I think Bloomberg's a little bit late to the game. Well, Jack, Mike's, uh, Mayor Bloomberg has been apologizing since the beginning of his presidential run. Yesterday, specifically, he apologized for being white. Watch. <laughs> now, I will admit I have never been one to look back. My brain is sort of programmed to look ahead. But I ask myself, could I have built my business and enjoyed my success under these conditions? Of course not. When I was starting out, I knew that my dealings with vendors and suppliers and customers were governed by a set of laws designed to protect me against theft and exploitation. That basic truth, which was critical to my success and to the success of every business in America today, was denied to black Americans for hundreds of years. So a big part of his message was, you know, I, I only succeeded because of white privilege. You know what? Mayor Bloomberg has a problem. I mean, you can tell just by watching him now, he's, he's, he's using, you know, MLK Day now to try to rally support uh, for the African-American community. Uh, it's just insincere. I um, mean, you know, today is MLK, Martin Luther King Jr., the holiday, national holiday. You know, and MLK said, you know, it's an evil jest to suggest that a bootless man could pull himself up by his own bootstraps. Uh, you know, African Americans have, have, have had a, a, a difficult plight in this country. Uh, and so, yeah, he, if he was black, he probably wouldn't have been able to do those things. But don't use this time uh, to use this platform to try to win over the black voter after, you know, you've put in stop and frisk policy across New York City and done so many things that have really alienated you from this community. All right. And Jack Brewer joining us with a little sports talk and a little yeah. political analysis. Jack, thank you thank very much. You, thank you, Jack. And this. if you want to hear his, his testimony, his story of his love for Christ and what he does for orphanages all over the world, you can go to Fox Nation. We interviewed him at MetLife Stadium for one of our Bible studies. Very cool. You're an amazing man, Jack. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Glory to God. Yes. Amen.